What's going on everybody? Today we are out here on Emerald Coast and as you've probably seen from the title of the video, I am hunting on a viewer server. We are here with Darian Dave and I am hunting on his server on his Emerald Coast. So we're going to see what I can find. And actually, we got Sandbar running around over here. I didn't even see these guys. Looks like just one male though. So I'm not too worried about him. What I'm going to do though is head over to this outpost and I'm going to quickly finish uncovering the rest of the map. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to go to this lookout point down to over to that outpost and then just start running around and see what I can find along the way. And then after all that, I'll probably hunt around down here for some kangaroos and feral goats and then maybe end it with some croc hunting. So we'll see what I can find. And we're going to head up here to this outpost. Oh, oh hello. We got a decent sized fallow running away over there and I should we'll pop a shot on it. Oh, I got invalid target from him standing next to me, but should still be able to get a nice shot into it. Not bad. Dropped it right where it stood. So we're going to go pick that up. That should be a pretty nice gold. And that is the first animal of the day. Now, we just made it to this outpost. We are working our way now to that lookout point. So that's going to be what's... Ooh, that is a decent sized hog deer as well. They're in class three, so I'm going to be using my 243 and getting a shot into him. And he should start going down, maybe. He's going down perfect, so that's going to be a nice lung shot into him. And that's a really nice looking hog deer. So it'd be super nice if I get a diamond hog deer today, because I need a diamond hog deer and a diamond sandbar, I believe. Um, I already have a diamond rusa, and I already have a diamond red fox. So out of this area, and I already have a diamond um, axis and fallow. So out of this area, I believe sandbar and hog deer are the only ones I need to get diamonds of where is that where did i kill that fallow at oh here it is so i'm gonna grab this thing and then we're gonna go grab that hog deer and continue on towards that lookout point and hopefully i can find some more cool animals let's see we got nice 218 on him and oh i next shot him yikes i did not aim where i thought i aimed and then we're gonna go and grab this hog deer and continue on Oh, what in the world? We have an access deer right there. I just want to alert. They're in class three. It might go, it might spook you. I cannot pull out my 243. I just need to use my hotkeys. Um, if it turns back, even just for a second, I'm going to take that long shot. And we have still not even claimed the hog deer. So I just turned and saw this guy. And I don't know how he didn't spook from me shooting everything else, but he's going to go down now. And we'll go and claim him. But first... Let's go and grab this hog deer wherever it ran and died at. Now, unfortunately, sometimes the animals are going to do that where they just kind of stop moving. And that's because he's from the um, Daring Dave is from the East Coast and I'm on the West Coast. So the high ping difference is going to cause some animals to freeze, unfortunately. But it shouldn't be that big of an issue because they haven't been doing it very much so far. If it does become a big issue, then we'll just split apart when we hunt. Um, but it shouldn't be that big of an issue. And we got another fallow over there. I think we're going to pass on him, though. It's not very big. Here's that hog deer. 97. You need one to wait for diamonds, so that's not bad whatsoever. And we're going to go and grab that axis deer now. And here is that axis. Nice lung shot on that. Just a silver. And we're going to continue on towards this lookout point. Oh, wait. So we have a sandbar right here running towards me. I'm going to take a shot on him. And I forgot that I can use a 300 now. So if he actually there trying to charge me down, he's running down the hill. I do need to go for a shot on him. And if he gives me an angle, we're going to take it. And he's stuck on a rock. We're going to take that shot. Why is he not going down? What the heck? Dropped him that time. I think I just hit him in the shoulder and it just didn't penetrate on the first shot. But we're going to claim him. I have not seen much of anything working my way all the way along here. So we're going to grab this guy. And he was just a silver. Oh, I shot too high on the first shot unfortunate but we're going to continue on to that um next outpost over here and then i will continue on from there hopefully we can find some more stuff along the way i have not found much of anything yet i just spooked off another decent sized male fallow so i'm going to take a shot on him hopefully that female doesn't block the shot if he turns a little more broadside i should be able to get it the females are in the way but if he gets right in front of them i should be able to take the shot it's going to be a really rough shot, but I should be able to get it. Nice. Dropped him right through there. Pretty difficult shot, but wasn't too bad. 
And if I turn and look around the lake, it is fallow drink time, I believe, right? Yeah. So I'm not seeing much of anything else currently, but we'll go claim this guy and then continue on down towards that outpost. Here's that fallow. Let's pick him up. And I just got a call from something up there. I'm not sure what that was. Oh, it's just a female hog deer. So nothing too special with her. And we're going to continue on this way. Hopefully, after I get to this um, outpost, I should be able to just start going around down here. I'll go to these two outposts later on. But I'm going to go look for kangaroos and... Um, I can't think of their names. Feral goats next. And then I'll end off the video with hunting for some crocs. Oh, there we go. So we got a eight mythical um kangaroo over there unfortunately he might travel to a spot where i can't hit him so i need him to go alert perfect we alerted him this is gonna be a tough shot through these trees but i should be able to get it if he stands up we're gonna go for it and we hard shot him perfect it's either a hard shot or a shot straight through to his spine hopefully it was a hard shot because shooting through the lungs and into the spine while missing the lungs would really suck but he should be a nice size gold and we got an aggressive female coming up on us just because she's aggressive, I'm going to shoot the 300 and absolutely demolish her. So if she comes up a little closer, I just whiffed. Okay, well, that was terrible. I could not even get any worse shots. I cannot hit a shot. What am I doing? That was horrendous. Anyway, she's dead. And what the heck? She's front flipped when she died. Anyways, um, we got to level 8 up here somewhere. I dropped in right there. Perfect. And then we're going to continue down this way. And see if I can find a couple more kangaroos and maybe some feral goats or red foxes. And then we'll head over to the coast and do some croc hunting to end it off. Oh, I just spooked off another eight mythical without even realizing. It. Um, I don't know. I think I got a vital there. I think I did because he went down very quickly. So that was a pretty lucky shot. I was just kind of firing and hoping. But if we head over here and grab him real quick, should be a nice size gold as well. Wait, what am I spotting? We got some feral goats over there. Nice level four, level three. Nothing too special with them. I would like to get a, where's that at? That's right there. I would like to get a rare, like an albino feral goat. That'd be insane. I've never had one of those. Where did I shoot this um, kangaroo at? Right here. Let's grab him. And that was weird. Didn't let me claim him for a little bit. Barely got into a liver there. 443, not bad. Now, Whoa, uh, multiplayer is being really buggy right now. Anyways, we're going to continue heading over here. And if I don't find anything else along my way over here, anything worth showing the video, then I'm going to head over and start hunting some crocs. Oh, what in the world? I just spawned into this tent and we have a couple right here. And they do not seem to want to be um, spooking. So I'm going to get a shot on this guy. And if he turns, at least, I don't know what's the deal with these guys. I think it's because we're close to each other. So they are being super weird. But I couldn't find anything over at the need a... next shot. Perfect. I couldn't find anything over at the um, bottom of the map. I literally went across the whole thing to over there. And so the biggest thing I saw was a level seven kangaroo. So I wasn't going to put any of that in the video. And so instead, I decided to come over here and croc hunt. And right away, we have found this guy. And I got the nice next shot on him. 888 scoring. So decent sized croc. And those guys are like inside of each other. Super weird. Got a female croc over there. And you know what? This might be a shot I can take. If he turns broadside, maybe. I need to turn a little broadside so that I will be able to get a shot on his neck. And I was not able to do it, but he is going down very quickly. Maybe the second one got him. Not sure, but this guy is still just chilling there. I wonder if I can get a lung from right there. Go for one more attempt. And yeah, we got a lung. He's going down. These guys are acting super strange. Like I said, I think it's because me and Darian Dave are hunting right next to each other. It's probably why it's happening. But oh, another level five over there. I might start working my way from the bottom up, actually after we claim these couple guys so that's what i'll do let's grab him and on the second shot i double lung spined him that's why i dropped and then this guy i'm assuming i just got a lung shot both times lung and lung yeah just spooked off a bantang let me just make sure it wasn't anything good before i actually just warning us before i head down there actually he went down there 
So, I'll continue down the coast. And it looked like it was just a level three. I'm still getting a warning call. That one's fleeing. So, maybe there's another one. Uh, oh, that was a big one. No, it's a level three. Where's the other one? That's a big one. Big level three, but not a level four. So, not even diamond potential. And he just changed the time. Not sure what to or why, but time has been changed. And I think I'm just going to continue working my way down this way. And I'll probably end the video when I make it down to about there. So we'll see what I can find. And if I don't find anything, then I might go and hunt some sandbar or something. You know what? I'm going to go and hunt through the swamp. It's really annoying to hunt down there, but you never know. I could find something a lot bigger to reward me for going through a little bit harder of a hunt and hunting the mangrove swamps. Oh my gosh. We have a level five banting. I was not even, whoa, okay. Um, that's a guaranteed diamond and I need to take a shot at him. And it's a lighter fur variant. I have yet to get a diamond of that fur variant. So if he gives me a shot and I think he's going to here, I'm gonna take it. I'm not gonna shoot that. I'm gonna wait, see if he turns a little more cause I don't wanna mess this guy up. I was not even paying attention. There are banting everywhere here. And I just got a spot. I was looking at that level four and then I got a spot on this guy. And he's a guaranteed diamond level five. I hope he scores max. That'd be insane if I could get a max score diamond banting. But we're going to head over here and see if I can get an angle on him, maybe. Luckily, they're really slow. So I'm not worried about him getting away. The only thing I might be worried about is disconnecting from the server. But I can just get reinvited. Got stubble quail over there. I have not hunted quail at all in this game. That might be something to do in the future. The only issue is they're super hard to hunt because they're super tiny. But let's see if I can get right over this hill. And if I do, he should be somewhere around there. Maybe. Where is he? I need him to give me an angle. So I'm working my way to the left, hopefully getting to the side of him. So that when I do get a shot, um, he will be broadside. I have no idea where they went, though. That's an issue. That's a pretty large issue, actually. Where'd these guys run off to? What in the world? They just disappeared. Where did the Bantang go? Did they turn on me? Now I'm confused. Oh, they turned. They just went right by me. Yeah, there's the five. He literally just walked right by me without me realizing. You guys could probably see it in the video. I'm not sure if you could, but if you guys did, you guys are probably laughing at me right now. And now I have a different issue. Now I have to somehow get an angle on him once again as he flees away. So if I get it, actually, I think I'm going to get a shot here. I'm pretty sure when I get to the top of this, he's going to provide me with a shot. Let's see. Maybe. Yep. All right. We're going to crouch, get my heart rate down and get eyes on him. Where is he? There's the five. Of course, he's the only one not presenting a good shot. All the other ones were broadside for a second. This is such a risky shot. Okay, if he turns broadside like that, I'm going to take it. Please start going down. Please start dropping. Please start dropping. He's going down. We took the running shot. We got him. I'm really hopeful that this guy... I know he's making diamond. Bantang are one of the more common diamonds in the game. But the thing that I'm excited about this guy is he has a chance at being max score. And... He's a fur type of level fives, or he's a fur type of males that don't usually, you don't see too many of them. Most males are the dark fur type. You do not see very many of this lighter color. So we're going to pick this guy up. He's right up here. And my guess is he's going to score 143. That's my guess. I don't know what their max is, but I'm assuming it's close to 150. Might even be 150, but my guess is 143. Let's take a look at the horns. They're definitely really big. 140.82, so on the smaller side, but a nice mocha fur type for him. We're going to taxidermatize him right away, and that is super cool. Well, I was going to continue hunting crocs, but I am working on another video, and I want to get to that. Now that I got a diamond in this video, I think we're going to end it there. So if you guys are new around here, please be sure to subscribe. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like down below. It's the best thing you can do to possibly support me, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a nice day, and see you.